Welcome back to Sneers. I'm Rob and today we're back here on Mars on our Let's Play facility. Today we have a few things ahead of us. Among other things, we'll finish out this setup here. Hello. And we'll finish a few things downstairs with our combustion engine, combustion centrifuge, sorry, and our four um, drills. First thing first, a few times ago, a few episodes ago, we made this unloader here and this the and this sorter here that's the word for it sorter <laughs> now we didn't actually finish it so i just want to do that so we can have that going on because i am sick and tired of having to empty my backpack whenever i do mining for the special stuff because even though i have a robot oh dear that was a bad plant because even though i have a robot the robot might not always find exactly what I want, especially like the, 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 the more special stuff, like cobalt, nickel, those sort of things. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn this one on and this one on. Now, this is an unloader. If you don't know what an unloader is, it's, it's, it is what it is. It's a, it, it unloads stuff. So I prepared two, well, I've not prepared them. I just have them. Two backpacks, one with just ores, one with a pickaxe, some ores, some eyes, and of course the backpacks themselves. <clears throat> here we have a stacker. Psh, fuck. <laughs> here we have a sorter, which will be sorting out this stuff from our backpacks. So we're gonna name it sorter on loader. Just to know that this comes from this one. So we'll be setting it up out here on this computer right here. So scroll down. Yes, there we have it. Lovely. So click on the whitelist. And here we want to in, in, put on the whitelist only ore. Uh, even though gas, uh, so even though ice is taken not an ore, it still goes under the ore. I don't know. Oh, nope. So now we have it there. Lovely. Let's go back in. Let's see if it works. So let's, let's take the f let's take the first one, which is the big backpack. Throw it in there. Something is happening, that's for sure. Let's turn on the light, see what comes out here. So, the backpack should come out here soon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There we are. Lovely. And he's empty. Fantastic. So now all that ore has gone that way. Into all those fancy boxes. Next one is the Mark II mine build, which I've used for ice mainly. But, yeah. Put in. First comes out the pickaxe. And then all the ice and the ore goes that way. And because we have that one way, uh, one way there, <laughs> one yeah, it will then continue down as well. So the ice goes downstairs, and the ore goes whatever. So that's nice. So that's sorted. Pop him away as well. Uh, regarding Amy, she is over there, as you can see, and I've actually had decency now to fix the code so it's actually not showing red anymore and I can even everything even works and do I not have a tablet on me no I'll show it downstairs but I've changed the code so it's ready for the workshop so it's more uh, user friendly let's put it that way now let's go downstairs we have a few things ahead of us downstairs and uh, we better get to it so we might need some of these that's why I prepare them uh, ba, ba. And I'll grab some water. Pressure critical. Oxygen critical. Right, we have cable, we have pipes, floors, maybe. We might need some more floors. Uh, floor. Floor grating, yes. So, we have a little bit more floor. And the reason why we need the floor is because we're going to do some some changes today. Oh, but this was not very... Oh, move. Yes, there we are. So I'll be showing you around first of all. We have we've done a little bit of modif modifications down here. Ta-da! It's beautiful. So, um... Yeah, this is actually uh, starting to look like a decent room. I still missing to cover the ceiling, of course, but who cares? Uh, 
Yes. I also at some point will cover it below, I think. Who knows? Uh, but at least the top, the, 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 the walls, except that, because here I'm testing some things, has been fixed. And I've even put in a wall here for our next room because I expect one day this will be airproof, airtight, and and with an aspirate in here, so I can actually breathe without my suit. And then this in here will be very noisy. So I'm just taking precautions. Now, in my test here, I am actually, okay, we have some pollutant. That was not expected. I'm not sure how that got in there because I've never seen pollutant become water. Anyway, this con condensation valve will pull in water from the main line here and then place it here. And so far, so, so, so far, it's only been uh, NOS, it's been pulling in, or uh, into, um, I am not sure how the pollutant going in, though, but uh, who knows. Anyway, so, uh, go away. So, uh, the, the script, I promised to show the script, which is here. So this is the, the, the script that be on, the, coming on to the, to the workshop, exactly this one. Uh, and you see, I am running very low on lines. Now, this one controls... So up top, we have... I prepared easy to use for the naming of the hash. So to send these ones down here. Where are they? Here. So here we set, we write to them. I didn't want to... I couldn't batch out because I didn't have space for it. But they are here. So you go, you see, you have the, 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 the memories here. Now, you have the alarm, which is a d display, you have the power, which is a display, you have the mode, which is display, and the three modes, again, for the location, which is the current location of the robot. Then you have three variables that you set, which is below the chute. This one, I prefer to go one above, uh, which actually shows on the tablet. Otherwise, it'll be very jerky to look at. It's weird. And the save position is a straight line out from uh, where your shoot is to, to through the door so it's it's the safe path uh, and then it will so when you go straight out it will you go to this location or wherever it is on yours and this is where the robot will go to after it's unloaded and before it unloads and then this is what will control the door and of course you have the minimal charge which you put into whatever don't change below that's why i wrote that if you didn't know <laughs> But um, below we have, you know, open the door. We have the minimum charge before we leave. I could put this as a fixed one, but I find 99 is is a good, like it full of full charge. I mean, I could put it at one, but it doesn't seem to be always going to one for some reason. So um, yeah, I put it to 99. Uh, yeah, Amy, she's weird. Uh, but the rest is lovely. Now. For the today's job, first thing first, we need my crowbar, which is right here. Now, I've, I know I've made this look very nice, but uh, yeah. Uh, now you're saying, why is the crazy man removing his floor? Well, the thing is, I want gas to go into that room in there. And currently the gas I'm going to use is the volatile or the H2. Is that the word for it? I think it's H2. Uh, volatile and oxygen. Uh, I could use the N2O, but uh, no, <laughs> I've tried. And uh, that goes very unpleasant very quickly if you don't protect it. So we go, we're going to make a under, underground service shaft, basically. I'm going to take that out off camera. Then in here, we're going to place this one around some, somewhere, maybe downstairs, I don't know. We might even move this one, who knows. Um, but yeah, I'm going to take this out and then we're going to cover it with the, with the floor sheets again. So, so, so the pipe will go down and look nice and neat. So uh, let me do some digging so we can have these gone and then we will do some piping afterwards. So now that we remove all the floor, we made a nice, how to say it, um, work thing. Um, I think this design will be nice. Then, because now I can I can do whatever I want down with the piping, and then I can just cover everything again up here, and then it'll go where it needs to go. 
It's like a a a a, a um. Yeah, I, I see this like a a vent, like a work tunnel thing where we can transport stuff. So now we can start pulling our pipes. We need a pipe from here. I need a pipe from, pipe from here to go that way. So let's do this one first. Mm, we want to put it here. We can probably move it later if we need to. But right, for now, seems like we're there. So now that we have the, the main pipe laid out, at least for the for, for this, we might change them later on, but for now they are like they are. Uh, the next part will be to connect up the lines <clears throat> to the feet. And to do this, well you can see how oh, here I've made myself into a, uh, worked myself into a bit of a pickle. I've, uh, it, uh, I need to modify this, definitely. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove that first of all, because that one will just go boom. And that one set to 8,000, so we need to make that again. We'll just throw that over there, go away. Uh, da, 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 da. Yes, you are very unhappy. So one down there, and like this. Then we're going to take the drill and take him. Yes, good. And What if we do like so? Uh -huh. Hey, I know you're unhappy. Now we want a We want a valve so we can turn off the feet, but I don't know if we can have a valve and then a pipe behind. We'll find out. No, of course not. Oh, damn it. So now that I've modified the cable so we can use it a bit better for this, we also, of course, need to connect this one up again. Oh, again, uh, with a new connection. Now we take our valve here. That one goes over there, yoink. Um, do I have more pipe here? Yes, I do. Lovely. And wrench. And go like this. And now we can control the feet. It's, it's of course also controlling this, but that's that's fine. That's fine. Uh, do we want to? We can actually go straight down here. I think we can do like this, and then we move. Yeah, come on. Move that. Lovely. Uh, can you? No, you can't. Okay. That'll have to do. It's not the best in the world, but it's it's again. This particular part here won't stay here until forever. Um. Yeah, this is this is mainly for until we have our living quarter set up, which will happen someday when everything else is safe and secure, and I can live without something goes boom without me watching it twenty four seven. So uh, yeah, could I not? Ah, whatever. So that is that done. We have oxygen. Is that connected? That looks weird. Oh, well, we have oxygen out there now. Good. That's the start. And let's go over here, see what we need to do over here. Well, this one is pretty simple. Because we can actually put 
about there. Go on. And then do it straight down here. I don't know how that, that's allowed to happen. But uh, it's allowed. I'm fine. The cable is not... It, it can go around the pipe. You know, the cables are soft. So... There we are. We now have complete connection, at least down there. Of course, the important stuff. Paint the damn thing. Look at that. And the red color. White color, I mean, of course. There we are. Nice. So now you can easily see what color we have to have going on here. Now, there is also the other one, which is the f the, the waist. Hmm. Move. There's the waist as well. And um, ah, that was a holder, which I need to handle as well. Go. So first we put in. So this is the input. This is the output. So the waste and the fuel. So here we put on the fuel uh, line. And this one has two inputs that join together and mixes together and then one output. I guess you know that, but I'm just telling you. So this one is output number one, this is output number two. So we're coming... Oh, I should have waited with painting. Anyway. <laughs> so here we will come with a pipe, go like this. Oh, that actually fits quite well. Next, let's finish the the line going out with the oxygen. So we just put a pipe here. It this won't be as nice because we are crossing over, but as we are in the the tunnel, it should be fine. It is a, a, a working tunnel anyway. Uh, do we need more? Yeah, we do. So now that we have the the the, the fuel line laid down. We actually want to put in for here as well. So, without, for now I make it like this, but without a way to get rid of the, f sorry, without a way, without a way to get rid of the f of the waste, it will go in a constant error. And I should have, yes, I have a passive vent. Right now we're just gonna vent it out. We might add a pipe down there eventually. So next thing is cables. We want to cable everything up. So let's grab the cables. First, let's take this boy. And we just go down here and do a turn, turn here and a branch. And I'm pretty sure, yes, this one as well. The reason why I want to do the data here as well is because, you know, future maybe we want to do something. Who knows? For now, at least, that is how it is. So those two are ready. Then we can do the main here. We want to do the data as well, because I want to want it to control some things, apart from the centrifuge. And of course, power. And if you notice the color that was actually because I had a recording that failed. So uh, I had to scrap that and revert back. Yeah, you know how it is. Uh, <coughs> Lovely. We are ready to start up. We can turn these on. I've already run them because I want to see how they look like. But yeah, they are down there. I wonder if that red is down there is actually lever. Um, anyway, we can turn these off on now at least. Nothing will happen. They'll just continue running and stack up and fill that. I might add so they fill up a tank or something. Um, before we do anything, I want to fill the hole. Come on. I want to fill this hole here. So it's easier and nicer to work with. But you now you will think, huh, wh what about accessing to it? Well, here, which is going to be the cross section, at least for now, if you roll it, you have a... Oh, come on. Don't do this. 
Press that button. Okay, and turn. You have an inspection door. Look at that. Ah. That is not correct. Let's remove that again. And turn. Yeah, we can go with that. Nice. So you can always get down. Should I have a ladder? Mm, potentially, but it doesn't. And we just dump this one here. Like so. Lovely. Now, in here, we want to set this one to a 30 to 63 ratio. So 33 here. 33, I mean. 33 ratio here. So, by doing the 30, it means that the input one, which is here, will go in 30 here. And the other one will have 63, 66. So if you hold on it now, you can see it's 33 to 67. Well, it's it's close. <sighs> right, let's get this one underway. I think I brought my tablet with me. My laptop, not tablet. I don't care about my tablet. So I have found on the on the on the workshop a. Ah, pressure sensor reader. Lovely. I found this combustion centrifuge controller by Al Al Atlantise, or whatever, you, however you say his name. This is the creator. All credit goes to him, of course. I cannot, I can change it, but I cannot change and upload it. And I will be changing it. Because before we put it in, we're going to add a little bit up here. So we're going to add an alias, and then let's say... Uh, called mixer and then D0 next down here we're going to do another alias and we're going to do let's call it current current pressure and R8 now why 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 do I do this it's because I want to read I want this to control the mixing unit the actual thing because I've noticed that it keeps loading in how much you want. So we take, as we already have the DB, which is the centrifuge itself, we can load and then current pressure. Did I not spell? Ah, we do it. Last P. Okay. So current pressure, and then we want. Uh, we just grab it because it's easier, it's quicker. We grab that and we call it. Input pressure. So pressure input. Yes, pressure input. Right. Now in the bottom, we're gonna add two small functions. So we're gonna call start a small start mix like so and J raw and st stop mix another j j ra mm -hmm. and this one will just set mixer on one cup that put down here this will just start and stop the mixers depending on what what we have so in our main loop we're gonna add two small functions so b g a l that's a uh, a batch greater than and then a l means it goes down to whatever and then comes back so we're gonna add so how it works is if if a how is it b g a l so if a is larger than b then you should do something. So here we're gonna say, hey, wait a second. If A is larger than B, so we want to do uh, current pressure. And then air tank low thousand and. Stop mix, and then again we're gonna do the other opposite way. So we're gonna start it. So B L T L and current pressure. Ah, 
Is that correct? 5,000. BLTL. BLTL. If that no, that's wrong. If that no, oh, sleep go away. And then we want to do a start mix. Start mix. Lovely. Lovely. Export. Pop in. Is currently at nothing. Uh, what do we have to do? Let's go and see if we have turned on the pressure. That'll be a good start. Turn that one on. Turn that one on. Okay. And off. So let's see here. Oh, where's the place? Out of power. Ah, everything's out of power. And oxygen. Right, let's have a look to see what do we have here. We have currently 40 megapascal here. That's because of my my bad recording. I didn't I didn't remove it. Uh because I was like, nah, it's fine. Let's see here. RPM is going up slowly. That's nice, that's nice. While it's running ramping up, we will we will leave it running. They are running as they should, it seems like. Hello Rocket. But while we're waiting for that, we can turn him on and clear out some of this stuff. I should maybe make some sort of... How does it? Some sort of shoot here, but I'm not sure I'm gonna use it that much. It's mainly to get rid of stuff whenever I have some. <clears throat> but if I'm gonna make a scrapper, I will definitely make something. Let's turn him off. And do not have any more floor sheets. Yes, that I do. Almost back to where we left off. Why can he actually run? Because he should have an arrow? Huh, strange. So we want to choose our fuel mixer. Ah, you should be turning off. Ah, no. You you don't turn off all the time. Of course not. Uh, how much power are we using now? Let's let's find out. Let's see here. Right, so we we are using quite a low amount. That's good. That's very good. And we can keep the tablet on us in case we need to adjust the code or whatever. Huh? Did I did I do everything correct in that script? It's running super slow. Let's just pop him in there. Ah, nope. So we're running this one, and he recommend ten. So we're gonna pop ten here. Export that, pop them in, and let's see how that is. I don't know exactly what it did, but it said recommend. And I, I guess it's running faster. <sighs> how is it going in here? We are getting something. Oh, yeah. 
Now it's definitely speeding up. We even have uranium. Pfft, uranium. What? Answer this. Why do you add uranium to a game and don't use it for anything? It's like... Why? It's a waste of space. It's a complete waste. Complete waste. Um, I, I don't, I, personally, I don't get it. Let's see how does it look here. That is a nice. Okay. Yeah, I think he's a he's a winner. He's a winner. He's a winner. Now let's let's turn him off for a second. What does it then do? Shut down nice and neat. Then we'll do an unload. And see what comes out. Of course we have to run up. Then I want to see that the uranium comes out correct place. Because if it comes out to a quick place, that means that our shoots and our everything is working correctly. Lovely. You just start up again. Let's run. Let's run. Quick, 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 quick. And I can also grab some water. So the uranium should should pop out over here. One there. Forty-seven there. It could be that one. It could be that one. Yes, definitely. Oh, wh why do we have uranium here? We are polluting the entire system. But... At least we're getting something now. I wonder if there's a way... Let's go back to it. Let's see if there's a way we can actually see how many... Items are in the, the damn thing. And if then we could... Could then uh, say to it, if you have... There's uh, 500 items. You shut down. You empty out. And you shut up again. Because we can see we can see here how much inside. What about here? Let's take this one. So there's ratios. We don't care about that. Total mold. We don't care about that. Temperature. Huh. Combustion limiter, throttle limiter. Hmm. There's nowhere here we can actually count how much is inside. Export count, import count. Nope. We cannot count. We, we can. We, we could. We could use import count, I guess. Total mode. That we, we, there's nowhere here we can see. Ah, that's annoying. Then I guess we could just count. It's been running for so and so long. Do a shutdown or something. I don't know. Uh, right. What's the next? What's next? What is next? Ooh. Why are you closed? Huh, weird. So, uh, we can do this one now. We can have a look at this a little bit more in detail. So, I've noticed... You can see here, it's actually coming in. When we started, it was just normal into in in here. And I really want to get a sort of stable of this, um, of, of NOS, so I can use that for the combustion engine. Hydration critical. Let me just get some water, the safest way possible. Temperature critical. Ah, Temperature fresh critical. air. Oxygen critical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Calm down, woman. Um, but it's, it's, it seems to me that... This is the best way to do it, but then how to use it over there is a whole different thing. 
Because if I just pump it like here, I pumped in 41 megapascal, it will become water instantly. Um, I don't know if that could work. And also we don't have enough. Here we have 25 moles and here we have, what, 258. It's not a lot. Oh, okay, we have 950 moles actually. Why is it not saying the same thing? Huh. <laughs> Weird. Uh -huh. Now, next thing would be this. So we have, let's just get them organized here. We have a mining module for all, all mining module. We have the engine, we have the launch pad, which is the bottom of course. Then we have the coupling, uh, cu coupling here, yeah, coupling module. Then we have the silo, so the silo, uh, the these three belong together, take kind of. And then we have a the automation, yeah, the automation part, which is the cockpit and the fuel tank. So, this one I am gonna build. That's a big one. That's a big boy. It is a big boy. And the way I'm gonna do it is I think uh, through here? Might be through here. Or through there. I'm not entirely sure. I think it's gonna be through here. I'm gonna take make a door here. And then I'm gonna have all the rockets in there, and that could be multiple. I am currently planning to have four ores, four ice, and then two scrappers. Because why not? <laughs> I don't want to be the same. I want to be uh, spread out. Um, but uh, and we'll start this next time. That's for sure. We. St I hope I can have the next uh, at least two. Rockets ready, maybe three. So one gas, uh, one ice, one ore, and one uh, scrap. That's gonna be so much fun and noisy. <laughs> Let's see how it looks here. We're now running at 518 RPM. Seems very steady. Nothing is changing at all. And it's going reasonably quick. Would it be faster with using the, 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 the NGO? Absolutely. Could we change? Hmm. Could we change? Could we change? You know what? Uh, in the next video, I think I might have made it. Uh, I might have made it. Or I'll make a second one. That's an even better idea. Yes. I'm going to make a second one. So we're going to have one there and one here oh that's gonna be amazing i think or something in that area um <laughs> we'll find out <laughs> oh, i may i may put it here as well instead so i push this one over that yeah, could be an idea as well i have to redo all that down there oh dear god because then we can have one and then we can turn off if you want to or whatever yeah. Yeah. We're gonna have two two centrifuges run in at full capacity. Seems like a good idea. Right. That is enough for me babbling around. I will be ending it here and we'll continue next time. Then we if we do one more, we might even do double stacked of these. Now that'll be that'll, that could be quite nice. Yes. Imagine that, having eight just running ores and, oh wow, that'll, that'll be a lot of ores coming out. Anyway, that is enough talk for today. <laughs> I will end it here. Take care guys, see you next time. Bye.